hello friends this is the fifth tutorial about data science so in this tutorial we are going to talk about these topics so the first thing here is different data types like we have structured data we have semi structured data and then we have unstructured data and we will be doing some basic operations on these types of data and then we'll go and talk about quantitative data and qualitative data labels of data and again we have some examples for them okay let's see different data types since data science deals with data means processing analyzing and finally extracting the knowledge from the data so it is important for us to know about the data in its type so that is why the data can be divided into different types the first type is called structured data what is structured data so structured data is uh, the basic data or it is called uh, the data which has a defined repeating pattern if it has a defined repeating pattern so that is called structured data or in simple words we can say the data which is based on primitive data types like integer float character boolean these things so that type of data is called structured data and if we have structured data so structured data there yeah the operations doing on structured data it will be very easy like sorting reading the data processing the data analyzing and these operations are faster and easy for us let's see some examples here for example numbers so these numbers if the data is in this form so it is called structured data we know that it is integer and this one is float if we have like this a value so we know it is date again it is based on primitive data type it is structure if we have like string so again it is structured data so where this structured data originates or the sources so the sources for structured data you have seen in relational databases in relational databases we have tables in tables the data will be stored in the form of rows and columns so you know that the data may be integer it may be float it may be character it may be text string like that so it is called structured data or flat files like the data which is stored in okay excel sheets so that is called also it is also structured data and uh, calculations and processing manipulation those things are faster and also easy so the data which comes from data warehouse that is called multi dimensional databases what we have they are also called structured data the data which comes from legacy systems or uh, databases old systems they are also structured data then we go to the second type is called semi structured data semi structured data is uh, the same as structured data but it contains the tags and markup elements to order and separate the elements and generate hierarchies of records and files for example if in a table we have a value we know that if a table is normalized then each column each uh, cell should have only one value if we have in a cell two or three values and they are separated by comma so that is not normalized so this type of data is called semi structured data so the sources for them is like uh, the data uh, web data in the form of cookies xml files or we can say data exchange formats such as javascript uh, object notations so they are called okay semi structured data let's see the unstructured data which is very much important here in data science because we are surrounded around uh, 70 to 80 percent of the data which we are surrounded they are unstructured data so unstructured data means the data which which has no repeating pattern so it may be in any form like images audios by videos emails the data which comes from okay social media so it means it is they are not based on primitive data types it is mixture of all so this is called okay unstructured data 
examples are given here like metadata data about data inconsistent data like uh, okay from the files which comes from the files social media websites satellites etc different formats like emails we have okay text audio video images etc so the sources for them also can be here i said social media mobile data and also like uh, text both maybe internal or external uh, to an organization maybe documents logs uh, survey results uh, okay maybe like feedbacks emails etc so they are called okay they are also called unstructured data the data which comes from mobiles like text messages locations information something that which is provided by the mobile phones so they are also called unstructured data uh, we will be doing some basic operations on them maybe like uh, we are counting the number of words if we have a text like this if we consider a text or a document we have there we will, uh, we will be doing like uh, counting the number of words or maybe we are checking whether it has a special character or not for example if there is a special character in that special character is question so we understand that this this statement was a question like for example if you take a comment from facebook but we don't know whether it is a simple statement whether it is exclamation or what if we check for this uh, symbol then we can easily understand that this was a question asked or if there is exclamation then we say it was an order so based on that we can take the decision uh, the relative length of text if you want to find that how many letters or characters or words were there in this picking a topic like searching in that text so if we have structure unstructured or semi structures so these are the basic operations that we can perform on them again the data can be divided into two types it may be quantitative or it may be qualitative so let's see what is qualitative and quantitative data okay if the data is quantitative it means they are measures of values or counts and they are expressed as numbers for example if i say how many so the the answer for how many may be like three four five they are numbers so no this is called quantitative data if i say how much again the the result is in the form of numbers you will say okay three letters four letters or four kg like that so again it is in the form of numbers so that is called quantitative the quantitative again it is divided into two types we have discrete data and we have continuous data if it is discrete data discrete means they are specific values or we can say whole value which is countable values it means it is not accepting the values in between for example if we consider dice so throwing a dice we will be having how many options are there six options are there maybe one two three four five or six we get or for example if we take these numbers one okay four seven okay nine so they are called discrete values but if i accept some values in between here i put like like this so this is not a discrete value but it is called a continuous value so continuous values are infinite values measured they are values they are accepting values in between also like height and weight the weight may be like okay 65 pint like this but if it is only this much so it is called oh yeah it is called discrete value but it is accepting some value in between so that is called continuous values in qualitative if we go qualitative values so qualitative values they are measures of types and may be represented by name symbol or number something or for example happiness happiness we cannot say how much happiness you have or how many happiness you have if you say gender so this is called qualitative value uh, data that cannot be like counted or uh, measured uh, just the measures of types so data about categorical variables like what type maybe say male female like that so that is called qualitative data the same type of data again it will be divided into four 
labels like qualitative again it is divided into two types it is nominal or either ordinal and quantitative again it is divided into it may be interval or it may be ratio now let's see what is nominal data nominal data is a categorical data it is just used to label variables we don't bother about the order for example if you see gender so gender may be either male or female but it is not required whether male is first or female is first that is not required nationality or animals list if i say uh, if i provide a list of animals like cat dog okay like that sheep we cannot put the order like cat is first dog is second these things are not important here and this type of data is called nominal data because order is not important but if we give the order as well so that is called the ordinal data like it is also categorical data along with order or rank we can say for example if you think about qualification so we have phd we have phd here then we have here master bachelor okay 12 standards 10 standard if i tell or do not tell you can understand that there is some order in between because this phd is the highest or okay the higher um, uh, rank or the higher order and this one is in second order this one is in third order or this one is in fourth order so here again if i say good better and best adjective here so again i have not assigned any value student but you can understand they have some order because good if i assign the value good one so better is two and best is three again let's say quantitative values again they will be divided into two types we, we may have interval values or data or it may be in the form of ratio now let's see what is interval so it is an order data with meaningful difference but no zero uh, through zero represented by numbers see friends here it is an order data but if we take the difference the difference is providing us some meaningful values so if it is in that form so we call it as a interval data example is given here temperature temperature in the form of fahrenheit and celsius if you are subtracting from okay uh, converting the the degree from fahrenheit to celsius there is a meaningful difference in between for example if the value is in the temperature is in fahrenheit so if i'm converting it to celsius so by adding and subtracting the values we will be getting some new values that is called celsius and again from that side from celsius again i can convert and it has a meaningful value to fahrenheit from fahrenheit it will be a meaningful value for celsius and from celsius it will be a meaningful value for fahrenheit and here i said but no through zero means see in fahrenheit if i say zero the zero means it means it doesn't mean nothing if i say zero fahrenheit it is something in celsius it is not like zero in celsius also if i say okay zero celsius it is not actually zero and fahrenheit because the difference if you are subtracting and take the difference it is giving you some meaningful value there zero celsius is not zero fahrenheit and zero fahrenheit is not a zero uh, celsius now let's see the next one is the ratio the ratio means it is also an order data with meaningful difference but with through zero zero here means the zero means the starting point and all the values are positive and they are non-negative values for example again if we take the example of temperature in kelvin so here the starting point is 0, 0.0 so it means there is no heat but if the zero is here zero fahrenheit we have the zero fahrenheit is not zero celsius 
it is a value there so the difference is meaningful and the zero is so we don't have okay but no true zero we have here but here we have true zero like for example we have weight and length they are starting from zero the starting point is mentioned then it may be going up like that okay let's see here as we said data pre-processing if we have structured data unstructured data and semi-structured data we can do these basic operations on them you see i have important the regular expression or e here and this is the message this is the message and it contains a question mark a symbol here a special symbol so if i am getting this symbol from this text then i can understand that this text is a question you see the number of characters if I want to find in this uh, text or document we may have so for that we are using lin here the lin and this is the message it will find the number of characters in this message if I want to see whether it has a question mark or not if it has a question mark so I understand that this statement or this message is a question if it has an exclamation then I say yeah it is like an order something now, if I want to search something like I want to search the Python, whether the Python word is there or not, then I'm using this one regular expression search. Let's see the result here. Yeah, how many characters are there? Uh, 62 characters are there. And it says, yeah, question mark is there. So we understood from the data that this data is a question mark. With the message here, it is a question. Because we understood from this. So this is called data preprocessing and from the data and from these uh, technical terms and this technical uh, process we can understand what happens here or what is here in this data whether it is question or we can count the numbers how many words are there how many okay how many times this one is repeated uh, whether it is question or whether it is exclamation or something so here I say yeah Python word is here it says it is matching so we say yeah it is about Python the question is asked about Python. And now see, if I want to count the number of characters here, how many times each character is repeated. So again here, it says, see, H is repeated once, O is repeated four times, like that. Space is also given, and question mark is also there. Everything is listed here. So the, this is called pre-processing on data, what we are doing. Now, if we go to the labels of data, we say, okay, nominal data we have ordinal data ratio we have uh, and interval we have nominal we, we said it is just like uh, name or label given to the variables order is not important here order is all, also important if the difference is giving you a meaningful something so that is called interval uh, if it is uh, a ratio again it is an order with meaningful difference and through zero so that's called ratio now the operation what I'm doing, what we can do here on nominal data. So in nominal data we can find only like uh, the first operation we can do here the mode. Mode is how many times that uh, or the frequency it is showing us how many times it is repeated. And here if it is ordinal we can find for example the median also we can find the mode also we can find. If it is interval so we can go like the mode, the median, the 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 mean we can find and also we can say how much the data is spread for that we are going for standard deviation and here also if it is ratio we can find the mode median and uh, this is called the central tendency uh, measure of central tendency uh, mode median and uh, mean if you want to see how much the data is spread it and for that we are going for standard deviation now let's see here the data this is the okay the data set which is provided by world health organization it is about alcohol now let's see how the data is yeah the data is displayed here so this is a data set comma separate values it is here in the same directory 
yeah it is here in the same directory that is why i just have given the name otherwise you have to provide the whole path from where you are accessing this data set since the, it is in the same directory i just provide the name and it is accessing it and by saying here table i store the result of this in this one table and i have used pandas here and i want to display only five observations first five observations so that is why i used here hate otherwise if i put 10 it will be showing us 10 records okay it will be by default five so now this is the table from this table we can understand whether it is qualitative data or quantitative data whether it is nominal or ordinal it is interval or ratio now if i go to country country here so you can see country is a qualitative data it is not a quantitative it means we cannot do some calculations on that we can find for example the mode mode means how many times for example afghanistan is repeated that we can do but we cannot add subtract those things we cannot do so it is qualitative data but if we go to this one beer servings so it is value so if it is value it is called quantitative we can do addition subtraction we can find mode median and we can do standard deviation all those things now if you go to this one the last one continent the continent is again we have asia we have europe we have africa so these are the continents and they are also called they are qualitative data we cannot do some operations on them we can do like find the mode the median also we can find if it is in the form of ordinal now let's see how many records are there so it is say yeah 193 and how many columns are there six columns are there one two three four five six columns are there and these number of observations now i say from this table you take the continent the last column and you describe it for me so by that it says yeah how many records are there 170 records are there and how many unique words are there it is showing me five unique words are there and which one is the top one and most used one it is showing me africa they are using or consuming most like alcohol something okay drinks and here the frequency is showing us it is repeated how many times it is repeated africa it is repeated the frequency is 53 how many conti uh, continents are there so it is 5 so 170 because there we have some null values they are all they are not all uh, uh, sorry values we may have in between some null values though those values are not counted now again if i go to this column total liters of pure alcohol so here this is uh, what type of data is it nominal no is it ordinal no it is quantitative value and in quantitative so it is like uh, if the difference is meaningful so it may be like interval or ratio let's see and describe it yeah here by describing it it is counting how many records are there 193 what is the mean the mean is 4.7 standard deviation is this much mean okay minimum value is this one 25 percent is this much 50 percent is this one and 75 percent of this data becomes 7.2 maximum value is here 14.4 and here the name is also given total liters of pure alcohol and the type is also mentioned it is float so from here we understood some of them are qualitative and quantitative if they are quantitative we can do many operations on them we can do but if they are qualitative we can find like median we can find and we can find the mood how many times they are repeated hope you understood these things they are they are all the topics what we said and promise here and they are discussed i hope you understood these things